When we don't know how to do things, we just do things, even though we don't know how to do things. For me. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm so tired. I had a dentist appointment. I didn't get back in last night till like 11, 12 o'clock. Then I didn't go to sleep till like one, and I have this appointment at eight in the morning. So I'll tell you my sleep that I got. I learned a lot about this car last night. I think that's the most I've ever pushed it, like ever in life. And uh, handle like a freaking champ, son. Like, that size a trooper. It's 7.40 right now, my appointment is at 8 o'clock. So that 20 minutes to even get there. You ever had those mornings where you're so tired, you're just like, you don't even know how you're awake? That's me right now, so I only had a few hours of sleep, but last night was so fun. Like I haven't been to a car meet in so long, let enough a car cruise. These branches just in the way, what the hell's going on here? So driving all those G35s and uh, 350Zs, I learned that my car is slow as hell stock. But I was still doing what I could do to keep up. You know, like even though my car stopped, I was keeping up with 300 something horsepower cars. One thing I don't understand is why everyone I know has a 350Z and a G35. And that Type R, that thing is quick, bro. So the Type R makes, you know, like three. It has less horsepower than all of the, the Gs and Affinities, but when he raced Noah, dude was gone. You saw they smoked me. I was like, I was barely keeping up. I could barely catch up to these cars, like they were gone. Time to make her faster. Yes, I can hang with these V6 boys or these boosted boys, because last night was fun, but I was getting left in the back. So. At the end of the day, though, I'm so proud of this car, because no issues, you know. One thing I noticed is that the clutch, my clutch is really overdue, and I know I have that uh, stock clutch, like sitting in my garage, but I think I'm gonna have to get a more upgraded clutch if I'm gonna make more power out of this car. Damn, the sun's in my face. This is pretty fancy. Get the bathroom. Let's touch the door handle. Huh. I'm back home. I thought that little RGB mouse pad I have and the keyboard and the computer was enough. We're installing more lights in the game room, which is well needed. Got some packages here. Comment below what you guys think these are. This one's overdue and you guys not gonna know what that is. I always do this. I'll have vlogs going on for like four or five days. Anyways, another day and today's Christmas. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Even though you've seen this video after Christmas, I hope everyone enjoyed their Christmas time and spent time with your family or spent time by yourself or you got gifts or you gave gifts. If you didn't get gifts, it's a thought that matters. So today we're going to get into what this whole video is about. I picked up some LED strips for the gaming setup. This is going to sit behind the desk. I don't know if you guys remembered, I had LED strips behind the desk a while back and I wanted to change them and I ended up giving them to Michelle's sister. So shout out to Trinity. She had that with her setup which she got inspired from my setup. So she has her own gaming setup, which is pretty cool. So today we're gonna install these guys. Just to give you guys an update on the computer, I am, I will take this thing apart and I will actually fix my wiring. That's long overdue and I kind of put it to the side and I knew I was gonna skip it because I want the computer to work. Computer works perfectly fine. So it's about time I get in there and kind of fix my wiring and stuff. I was gonna wait till we get Michelle's computer and when we redo my setup, to be honest, I might even do that still. I don't even know. It depends on how lazy I'm feeling, but I actually want to do that. So, so wiring is going to be cleaned up hopefully soon. So we're going to open this thing on my mouse pad. There we go. Oh, wow. That's a lot of, um, what should I call it? So that's, that's, that's a lot of strips of lighting. I didn't really pay attention to how long it was, but wow. Wow. So let's see what we have here upside down making life smarter so stick the strip light and press over it about 10 to 15 times oh that's step five i'm skipping steps here we go step one so choose a dry clean smooth surface no wool dusty wall that makes sense wipe off with dust oh they give you like little pads and stuff to prep this thing okay warm the tape with a hair dryer when it's below uh, rip off the protective film do not peel off the tape under the film interesting then we can slap it on and then do where the hell we want to do it for corner setup bend the strip and reinforce okay so you gotta bend it to do corners 
You can put it behind your monitors in your room. It's gonna be easier for me because I'm just putting them back to the desk. This looks pretty simple. You plug the USB in and you get the controller and I guess that's it. So I plugged it in just to test it out and let me see. So it's gonna go back here. I have the strip all lined up behind and this is the final result. I could have had it start from the side and go around, but I like it. It's just the rear just lit up, which is pretty cool. And I have the controller right here so I can kind of cycle through how I want it. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like a like an alarm system type thing. Our school it goes through one corner. So I'll probably have it like it being solid and then slowly transition to another thing. I just gotta find it, but like I was saying in the video, I may do some wiring cleanup. I kind of don't want to spend too much time doing the wiring if I know that we're gonna change the setup. I'm thinking about waiting for Shelly's PC to be here and build, and then we will completely transform everything. So in the meantime, I think I will leave it like here, leave it like this. That way I can still record, make videos. Am I missing out on things because I took things apart? I have to wait to put things back, blah, blah, blah. You know, if it's not broken, don't fix it type of thing going on. Definitely, I don't want to mess with everything. But these speakers, definitely want to upgrade these speakers. These are my first speakers ever. These some, you know, Logitech, I forgot what they call it, these something. Come with a subwoofer, but they're okay. I'm going to go for some official speakers pretty soon. But here the Kim McGinn channel. You know, you know, we all about lights. This is, I, I keep telling you guys, I keep reminding you guys. Not RGB, it's not for me. Even though these lights are LEDs, they're not really RGB. But when we don't know how to do things, we just do things, even though we don't know how to do things. For me. Like, this is what I do. You know, I don't know, post it, tell me, now I know. You know, <laughs> coming along, I'm glad I could bring you guys on this journey with me, changing things around and adding new things. And what I was really gonna do is have the LED lights around the monitors, but I'm not there yet. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. I had this before, so I just wanted to bring it back, so. Super cool. It's for everything all out of sync. Everything's all doing its own thing. When I'm playing, I never have these lights on. I'm probably never gonna have those back lights on. It's just the keyboard and the mouse, and even the mouse pad. I'll turn off the mouse pad and just have the keyboard and the mouse. That's pretty much it. So majority of all the stuff is all the aesthetics, like all the stuff inside, you know, all the stuff is all aesthetics. We RGB gang out here. I gotta I got pull out the RGB, feel me? Like I gotta have it all around. Next is gonna be the whole room, gonna have RGB, everything, LED, everywhere. I'm gonna LED my printer. I'm gonna LED my PS4. This thing will get LED. This thing will get LED. Even the doorknob will get LED. Everything getting LED. The light switch will get, let me LED everything. Got a whole circus going on in here. Look at this, a whole circus going on in here. I don't know what those lights back there doing. They're doing their own thing, but yeah, like I said in the video, I don't I don't play video games like this. 80% of these lights do not be on, but the whole aesthetics of it though is pretty A1. Damn, the wiring in there is disgusting. I, I don't know why I even showed this off. Oh, you know why I showed this off? Cause I don't care. I, I do care, but I don't care. If that makes sense, if that makes sense. I'm exaggerating, I'm just playing around. We're not doing none of that stuff. But one thing did come in that, let's go unbox it right now. What we have in this box is the damn ladder we've been trying to get way before we even went to New York. We ordered from Lowe's and we had to cancel the order because Lowe's never got their ladder prepared. It took them, it was like five days, six days, almost a week. They didn't get the ladder prepared and we did a pickup order from Lowe's. So you would have thought, they could have had it ready to, it's a ladder, you know, I don't, I don't know. Anyways, we canceled that order and then we bought this from Bed Bath, Bed Bath and Beyond and ordered online. So new ladder came in, I can finally change the light bulb. I need to change in the front. And then there's some garage stuff too I'm gonna do in the future. So that works out. So I'm gonna unbox this thing real fast. I haven't even seen the ladder yet. It's still the box, but this box is so light. How tall is this one that you ordered, mama? Oh, they wrap this thing perfect. But yeah, this is like a five step ladder. Don't know how tall this is. Shelly ordered it. And we just having bad luck with this damn ladder. We just ordered whatever because Lowe's didn't want to give us a ladder. So we went elsewhere. So this is not like a heavy duty ladder or anything like that, but it's a nice household ladder. Still pretty tall. Now that the ladder is all good to go, I'm gonna end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's install video. And like I said, today is Christmas. So comment below if you wanna share what you got for Christmas. Hope you guys had fun. If you didn't get anything, 
you're gonna get something, trust me. You're gonna get something. May not be Christmas, but you're gonna get something. And there's more stuff I wanna get for the game room, slowly but surely. We're gonna start working on the parts for Shelly's computer pretty soon, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. I'm glad all you guys are here watching the video. Subscribe. You know, the regular day, like I told you guys, I appreciate everyone here that likes the video and all those goodies. Maybe Christmas again. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you.